Have you finished? Have you finished? Yes. Okay. Canteen, my soda. All right. Welcome, everybody, to Frantic Fridays from Front Row Geeks. Uh, join me is Faye Tess. Hey, all And the man that's been trying to cause static on the stream because soda right next to the microphone, MPX. Did it actually cause static? It actually sounded like static. Hmm. A little bit, it actually did. <laughs> so, uh, DK... Maybe if I used a pop filter, it would sound better. <laughs> this is not an ASMR stream. No. No, we're not. <laughs> this is a body horror just, and I... meat jello stream. My brain, is... My brain is just stuck on the idea of using a pop filter to alter the sound of the soda pop. <laughs> think it could work to a degree well time to go deal with uh, meat jello t-rex and yes I'm sticking a with that phrase was, a sentence which was probably never uttered before in the history of history well done and yes, I'm sticking with that sentiment. It, uh... I don't know. 90s gross-out toys. There might have been a board meeting about it. Somebody Meat thought about... Jellotines. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. Like, you have those, like, sticky hand things, but you then you put in, like, solid bones. Plastic bones. Ew. It's all wobbly and sticky and ugh. But hey, once it's all gone, you just rip it out and you have a T-Rex skeleton. I hate to describe this, but like, I've kind of got a weird thing of like occasionally checking something on like YouTube shorts about like quotation treasure toys. And some of them are just downright like, why would who thought this was a good idea? Because, like, almost all uh, almost all of them include, like, a little tiny slime packet with something you have to pull out of it. Oh, hey, a chest. And... Oh, hey, look, we finally have a revive again. Yep. How do you get revives? You find them in chests. Items? They're just items. Ah. And as far as I know, they are not dropped by anything in the game. You, they are chest only. And so they are a limit a super limited resource. You don't have to do anything fancy like equip it. Yeah, no, it's an auto... Use. change one of these medicine at oh wait yes i have because that's junk <coughs> sorry Hello. And I, I may be going the wrong way to get to uh, uh so you are backtracking but you're supposed to backtrack 
Okay. Uh, so remember in the beginning where there was the second floor area that you couldn't access? Yeah. Now you can. Okay. Did I go the wrong way? Uh, no, you're making your way back. Okay. Not the weird kangaroo rats. I mean, that's further proof that you're making your way back, because you haven't seen him in a while. Also, I think it'd be more accurate to call them kangaroo lizards, because they are, they, one of them did do the tongue swipe thing. Yeah, well, th that's their normal attack. That's what I'm saying, though. That's not really a kangaroo or rat type thing to do. Yeah. I'm just calling them kangaroo rats because, well, they look like kangaroo rats. Uh, just the ammo. Thank you. Not that way. I'm not sure which way I'm supposed to be going at this point, but... So you gotta go back to... I think it's in the foyer. Oh, the foyer? I think the, the, yeah, I think it was in the foyer. Okay. Where uh, you actually were able to go up. Or where it was blocked previously. Ah. So, through sand room... Because I remember it was really early on. Let me go all the way back to the beginning of this area. No, nope, that's the warehouse. I went too far. Oh, hey, look, the elevator. And... Yeah, as soon as you enter the, uh, the, it says you enter, enter the museum freely by the right door. No one's in your sight. The stairs to Clamp's laboratory is locked. So yeah, it's in the, we're in the very entry. Okay. Oh, hey, the stairs. And then Clamp's. Oop, I skipped that text. I think it was just like, hey, this laboratory is open. Professor Clamp. It looked more like it was like there's someone or there's something out there. Yeah. I it was it was just like a brief flash, but Professor Clamp, don't move. Put your hands in the air where I can see them. Maida? It's peanut butter jelly time. Raza, Raza. Sorry. Uh, hi, I. Uh, hi, Eric. Yes, th th there was something I really needed to test. Uh, may I put my arms down now? Did you come back here alone? No. Daniel came with me part of the way. Well, where is he? Uh, yes, he went to look for something at the hospital. He should be on his way here. I need to make myself eat, but I don't want to eat. I, I, I second that emotion, Eric. I'm, I'm there with you. Admittedly, I'm not saying... Uh, I'm. I'm not sure if peanut butter jelly is actually a good time for this because we're dealing with meat jelly dinosaur. Meat jello. Uh, oh. The meat jello T-Rex. There haven't been any combustions recently, so I... Uh... Uh, anyway, I asked Wayne to make this back at the station. Uh, please use it. Uh, what is it? 
Uh, yes, uh, I'll have to explain later. But I believe this will have some effect against Eve and the creature she controls. Uh, thank you? I guess I have to wait to see what it does. Beta's gone! One attack, 60 range, 15 bullets. Yeah, at this point, um, the guide specifically calls out, don't use it right now, it's complete trash for now, but it will be useful on day six. Okay, Meta's gun, saving for later. Uh, well, goodbye, one of the Medicine Threes. Uh, you did still have a junk in your pocket. No, I, I did. You did? I thought I switched that back to the Medicine Below the Curity's Nuts. Uh, damn it. Oh, well. I mean, like, I can get that Medicine 3 back by just going back to, uh, the station. Yeah. I came across some findings. Yes. Uh, first of all, there was blood serum with Maya's name labeled out in the freezer. My sister's name. And... Well, the, the research code for it was called Eve. Eve? Then Eve is, really is... Uh, it appears to have been made up of liver cells. He was culturing them in the past. What do you mean? What for? I don't know. There isn't any data left. Uh, but it seems Dr. Clamp has been culturing them for years. Uh, recently, it appears he was conducting research on artificial sperm. Uh, for Eve, of course. For Eve? Uh, yes, he, he wanted to exclude the mitochondria from the sperm and create a new sperm? Sperm with no parasites. Sperm with only the nucleus. Um. Meta. Biological lesson here. Sperm only has DNA in it. Because... Last time I checked, mitochondria only appears in the egg. <laughs> Sperm without the mitochondria? Uh, yes, he uh, took the sperm that he created here and uh, moved it to the hospital. Uh, there he would artificially inseminate those who would volunteer for the experiment. Then, what was that HLA list for? Professor Clamp! Shoot him now, shoot him now, shoot him now! Solve it! You ordinary beings will never... Never comprehend my level of research. Professor, I'm placing you under the rest of the ringleader of this operation. What you did... This isn't something you get away with. Do you understand? <laughs> you are pathetic, Brea. Why put yourself in the human domain by reciting meaningless laws? They're meaningless. Don't... Do you understand? Uh, meaningless by whose standards and what reasoning? <laughs> I guess you haven't told your little friends yet. Your mitochondria has special powers, doesn't it, Aya? <laughs> but... Sadly, you still have the form of a human being, don't you? Law enforcement at the end of a gun. Doc doesn't seem to know how it works. You can say all you want, but I'm just here to arrest you, Professor Clamp. I'm not letting you interfere with Eve, you hear? Do you understand? Aya, look out! Bitch. Daniel for the win. 
Daniel, thanks. I I I didn't see the scalpel. I you have a gun. I could make a Jar Jar reference, but I won't. Just in time. Why didn't you shoot? You could have been killed. I know. It just this didn't seem real. Felt more like. Ugh. He's conscious again. Dolus to the rescue, eh? Officer Dolus, why didn't you shoot me? What? I know you hate me. What do you want to say, huh? Of course I hate you. Because of you, Lorraine's. Lorraine? Hmm. So I see that your boy managed to escape. You... I should have killed you way back. Someday you're gonna pay for this. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. What are you planning to do, Professor? <laughs> You'll love this. I'm waiting for the birth of the ultimate being. Mitochondria is passed on from the mother. But, you see... Traces from the father can also be found in minute quantities. According to Eve, her sister in Japan was unable to attain her ultimate goal because the father's side of the mitochondria caused a rebellion. For Eve to succeed this time, I created sperm without the male mitochondrial DNA. The creation was a success. Eve is now pregnant with Melissa's body. Insert Pergnat memes now. Is she Pergante? Pergnat. How can she tell if she is pregnant? <laughs> pregnant? How is Babby formed? <laughs> hey, you said insert memes. Eric wanted to jump in on the fun too. Yeah, insert memes now. How can that be possible? Damn. Alright, we gotta kill Eve. Let's go. <laughs> you humans are so weak. So stupid. You may have been able to barge in here and do y things your way until now. But things are going to change. I won't let you interfere with Eve anymore. Eve, can you hear me? You don't have to wait any more. I'm ready. What? What the hell are you talking about? Daniel made a run. He's about to blow up the whole place. Spontaneous human explosion. The next evolution in spontaneous human combustion. Flash bombing yourself. So, I see. Your mitochondrial power doesn't allow you to burn. Why? Why stay here and try to save me? First of all, I'm a cop. And it's my job. And after all, I am human. More like flesh bomb. <laughs> I mean, he's not wrong. He's not wrong. I'm gonna put that in the same like category as meat jello T Rex. <laughs> Only nine and ninety five. Correct, but also disturbing. Yes. Like I said, humans are pathetic. Got the clamp key. Yep. And, okay, there is a junk. Moving the junk for the clamp key. 
And... Clamp just stays here burning for the rest of the game. Yep. He doesn't even get a Final Fantasy death where he just fades from existence. He just constantly is on fire now. Uh, nor does he get a jerky death. I'm going to double check, but I think he actually does disappear if you leave the room. Nope, he gets a jerky body. Oh, he does? Okay, cool. Clamp is now clamp. Consistency. Clamp jerky. For when you I are... mean, it was possible you might have had to come back on day six to see him as clamp jerky, but no, no, there it is. You clamp... just had to leave the room for a second. That clamp jerky is real. Alright, so there should be a locked door on the left that that clamp key is really nice for. Yep. And is it stuck in my pocket? Probably. And I should probably save first, or is there a save close to... There's also a riddle in here. If one step in, I get a fight. And it's... Um, I would say do the riddle and then go back to the save point real quick. Yeah, let me defeat these dino boys first. You've been a lot tougher um, during our stay in the museum. Yeah, although I don't think I'm... Oh, hey, look, eggs. Uh, this? You said there's a riddle here? It says that there's a riddle here. Unless there's one room forward. I'm gonna go run room forward. Cause. Okay, we got another fight. And yeah, cause this... there's a riddle that's. There's a puzzle, or a riddle, or quiz, or whatever you want to call them. Oh, there it is. I see it now. Uh, this one's supposed to have... It has the possibility of being a tool. And we gotta level up. And we have nice. full recover. Which... I don't think oh. there's a Final Fantasy equivalent for this. Um... Some Final Fantasies have a full cure, but not with a plus status removal. Yeah, that's why it's like... Like, I have seen... I mean, the only thing I could think of is as limit breaks. Yeah, either limit breaks, which because Greg Gospel did that. Yeah. All right. Twenty-five million years ago, oxygen increased in the air. Why? Photosynthesis by bacteria. This one should be super obvious. Photosynthesis by bacteria. Halley's comet dropped a meteor. Reaction between gas and H2O. 
I think that's called evaporation. Yeah, but that would be water vapor, which in which case is not necessarily the same thing. Yeah. No, I'm talking about like what we'd call the last one. Uh, Hayes, yeah, that's what I'm saying. How can a comet drop a meteor? How? That's a very good question. How could that actually happen? It wasn't a comet in the first place? Ancient mitochondrial aliens dropped a comet that drops a meteor. So, obviously, this has got to be photosynthesis by bacteria. Exactly. Which, that's still wrong, but... Uh, it's more or less correct. It's it. Uh, it I, I would say that it's. I would say that it's about ninety percent correct. And it's a medicine three. Medi uh, medicine three for medicine three. So let's pop out of the room and pop back down to the lobby for a brief. Yep, and then come back up here through that door to the north, and we are getting very close to boss time. Oh, hey, look, we, we have... very close to about the clock. We have 600 health. That is impressive. I mean, like, normally, in normal Final Fantasies, like, we'd be sitting at, like... Yeah, at this point, we would be sitting around 6,000 in a Final Fantasy. At level 30? Oh, I was going based off of how far into the game we are, not uh, what level we were. Yeah. No, at level 30, we'd be around 1,000. 1,000, 2,000 if we're a meathead. Yeah. Looking at you, Saban. But, yeah, no, 600 feels like a lot of health. Even for this game. It's all your mitochondria. Also, you are running significantly out of space on card two. I know I should probably... Uh... I probably should have saved over a couple instead of going back to my old habits. But. I mean, that or um, swap two to one and swap in a fresh card for two in the two spot. I would have to pause the game for that, but. Actually, well, yeah, I'm not saying do it right now, obviously. Yeah. And clamp key. Oh, hey, look. Raptors. There's the fucking exhibit that we've been looking for. Oh. Wow. Right there. That's crazy. I see what you did there. I was hoping you would. Oh no, we got a baby-faced scorpion. Oh, God. Actually, this is a scorpion. Can I swap to me good gun? Or... Oh, Jesus. Oh, that's, that's fun. That's uh, fun on all levels. Wow, full recover takes up most of the bar. I mean, yes, that makes sense. Let's do detox real quick. Oh, hey, he's... He's poisoned. It's nice that detox takes up, like, literally nothing. I don't need UP. And 
time to change back to our the front boy to P, uh, the P220. The Frost Boy. <laughs> Are we literally going to be calling the gun the Frost Boy? I mean, sure, why not? Used cramp key. Also, you might want to consider healing. Oh. You took a lot of damage in that fight, mostly from the poison. Let's use a medicine three. Okay, two medicine threes. And this brings me back to this room. I'm guessing I want to take the stairs up in the previous room. Uh, no. Uh, go peek in on the dinosaur fossils. Uh, the din okay, so keep heading... Remember the exhibit? Oh, right. Keep heading north. Yep. North and heading north. Okay, we're back to this area with the door, but you said there was also a hidden door around here? Maybe? Um, yeah, so let's see. The exact wording is uh, Do you see a secret room behind the dinosaur fossils? You can't get into it. Oh, wait a minute. Never mind. You can't get into it now, but you, uh, but you will. Go to the north room and go upstairs when checking the room boss fight. Okay. Did we ever go down to the first floor on this one? I don't recall. I don't believe so. Oh! We didn't, because that's an offense. Plus one. Ooh. So... You piled it on the good gun? Yeah, I piled them. And I found the tool that we were missing. Oh, nice. It is down on the first floor. See, the guy didn't say anything about going to the first floor, so I'm a little upset. Anyway, at this point, I presume we go to the third floor, because it does say go upstairs. Yeah. And this is the human. And get ready for a surprise. This, uh, well. Hint, it's not meat jello. It or is. Or at least not the meat jello T Rex. Nope, it is a small little jumpy lizard rat boy. Ha. Ah. That is not the one we were looking for. Okay, this is the exhibit dealing with those. It's weird. It just says go upstairs when checking the room. So I'm confused why we're getting this far. Unless they're just, you know, really bad at describing what we're doing. Maybe. Ah, here we go. We actually found the, the dinosaur room. Ah, it's a bit few. That makes sense. 
I, I do not trust this. This does not look like a pre-rendered asset. That looks like a model. Oh no, meet Jello. Uh, quadricep. It's got four horns instead of three. Yeah. It, they, they call it a triceratops, but yeah, no, that is definitely a uh, quadratops. Quadratop. Quadriceratops. Oh god, it's got lightning. So round one, it's fighting its head. Yeah. Oh! It rams. So, yeah, it rams. And when it rams, it will kill you. Uh, if it I... hits you, it will... Oh, it can kill you, I guess. Yeah, it moves, it moves slowly, but then it suddenly makes a 180 turn and dashes to heavily damaging you. Uh, you have to start moving as soon as he turns. Uh, avoiding earlier late uh, could cause failure. He also does lightning attacks, which... Yeah, lightning sparks... Uh, uh, which will go through where you were standing, and that's when you get hit. And if you might have guessed from the way I worded things a moment ago, this is phase one. Yeah. Because you said dealing with its head. Yep. You are taking some spicy ass damage. Well, remember, we also have the auto healer vest, but. Ah. I mean, like, the fact that we can do, like, heal three. And you can do it, like, pretty much er almost every other turn. Well, that's one dodge I've seen so far. Yeah, the, li uh, the lightning one... Yeah, the guide says use haste to try and run from stuff, but it says lightning one, you're pretty much boned, uh, and then they give you the one advice for the dodging. Uh. You know what? Scan. I'm gonna scan this guy. Unknown health. Ow. Ow. That's that's it. Yeah. No weakness info. Just no. unknown health. Delightful. So it does have about 750 at max. So I'm gonna see if I can use my like, good gun on this boy. Okay, I'm doing about the same damage. And maybe a bit more. Oh. Oh, lord. Okay, there goes one of my... Yep, there was a... That was a big potion. Okay, head gone. All right. So for the second phase, lightning's harder to avoid, and do and charges are faster.
Admittedly, like, since I'm now using my good gun. You now even have near infinite range. And I have a good... I, I think there's a weird way you can dodge the lightning, but... Yeah, it's like you can you can trick it to circling you. I'm noticing that you do that. I don't know how you're doing it, but... You... Well, we're getting close to the vest kicking in again. Uh, using a heal three. And down. Wow. Uh, if I would known that we were deal- uh, if he was we- uh, that I could use my good gun, I probably should have started the fight with the good gun. I- I mean, it's hard to say, honestly. Yeah. Um, but, yeah. You are... Oh, okay. What is this? Liberate? Liberate mitochondrial control. Control. This sounds like a, like, endgame ability type stuff. Like, is there a... Ma like, what's the max level for this game? Is it 99 or is it, like, 50? I mean, it doesn't really say here. Oh, we only got six ammo from that. Jerk what? <laughs> oh, no! Oh, no! You very... Oh, that's funny. Um, apparently... We're apparently we're slightly ahead of where the guide was, because the guide said that after this next boss fight, is where they uh, got uh, liberate. It also does say that that's the strongest spell in the game. Okay. And we got knocked out. Uh. My. Body feels like it's going to burn up. Ammo. Medicine four. Okay, that's okay. That's a full heal. And so I may want to recommend going north first. Uh, since you have control in the matter. <laughs> no. Doesn't look like it, and I went south, sorry. Okay, well, it's too late now. Have fun with Meat Jello. Meat Jello T Rex. Okay, can I use my super gun on this boy? I hope so. Uh, let's try uh, scan first, just. It does recommend that you do a similar tactic to the giant crab where you stay to its side without touching it. Uh, okay. Ooh! Okay, good gun is good against him. Yeah, okay, he- ugh. But that... if you're too close to him, he'll do a bite attack. Yeah, no, he did a flame- Oh! Oh god, and he stops. Claims, he he turns his head far enough to do the to do that. That's not great. Yeah. Um, there's the bite attack we wanted to avoid. Uh. And he has a homing laser. Yep. That was the other thing I was gonna say is that it'll shoot. Well, it shoots where you're standing. Do so you pretty much just want to? If he starts charging it up, you just want to start running. I am going to do liberate right now. Just to see what it looks like. Ooh. And then nothing else energy wise for the rest of the battle. Oh god, it's doing about 200 a hit. And multiple hits. 
Nice. I think that was eight. You just did a big fucking chunk of his health. He's not dead. No. But that hurt. That hurt him a lot. Because per this, you uh, he's got about twenty four hundred total health. So you would have done around eighteen hundred with those eight hits. Okay, I I see how the fire attack works. Oh, it's based on which side of the body he you were on. He sweeps in that direction. Interesting. And down. Nice. So, Liberate, I think, is like a summon spell? No, well, it's literally, you're, you're, um, less summon and more like, well, summon, in, if you're take, using the, the 14, like summoning, uh, like summoning icons, yeah. you're, it's more summoning into yourself a la Shiva. Yeah. Uh, and we got the also, M M8000, which I'm not sure what that one, if that's a real gun or not. I, it, given the fact that most of these are actual gun models, probably. God, I've been playing another game where, like, the menu is the start button. Because other things are put... I just want to see what the base... Guns akimbo? Wait, are you kidding? No. Also, it's... It's base attack is actually as much as what I put in the G3A3. Yeah, if you transfer the G3A3 over to it, that is a, that becomes a fucking powerful ass uh, dual handgun. Yeah, and I pro this would probably be one. It probably would want to be one of the things that I use my super tool on. Oh yeah, no hell yeah. But. Yeah, no, the giant huge statue is covered in goop. Yep. You really gooped that up. Okay, so you can now go, uh, so go back to the elevator. Which I think I have to go this I way I believe anyway. there's a phone right next to the elevator. Yeah. I think this is... And I only used one of my... Oh, yeah. I was yeah. going to say, I only saw the best trigger once. Yeah, no, the only way to get out of the room is quite literally that way. So, save. I'm going to say, uh, let's see how many spots I have left. I... Okay, so three, four, five. Okay, yeah, we have four spots open. And you said. Oh, so pretty much. We might be. You might be able to uh, finish the session without swapping cards. Yeah. Okay, back to. So you're going to want to go to. Apparently, this says the fourth floor. Fourth floor? Uh, you can check the fourth floor where you can't go on foot. And then after that, you'll want to go back to the tri the trike room. And full recover. Found the chest, and there's goop door. Ugh. Which... What, you didn't bring a flamethrower for the goop door? No. <clears throat> okay. 
so back to Triceratops room, which Oh boy, I have to swap guns again. Oh yeah. Yeah. It seems like... I don't know why the bosses have different immunities. I mean, I feel... Well, given the fact that the T-Rex was nothing more than really an animated... Uh, skeleton that... Uh, was... I mean, I don't know. You you were mostly hitting the meat jello, right? Yeah, and the meat jello was the people from the concert. Mm -hmm. whereas, whereas these things are like reanimated scarab... Uh, or like scarab beetles slash pill bugs and then somehow reanimated corpses of dinosaurs? Like, from their actual DNA? What, did you think the dinosaur DNA didn't have mitochondria? Yeah. Also, pausing for a brief moment. Well, um, I don't think the fossils have any DNA. Yeah. I recall reading liberation is the most powerful while the energy beam thing is the most PE efficient. So, Spirit Gun is probably late game efficient, whereas uh, Liberation is probably the most damaging. It's your big fucking nuke. And we got a level up. I don't expect anything after this, spell wise. I don't particularly either. I'm not saying that it's impossible, but I don't expect it. Yeah. Okay. I mean, the only thing else that I could see that we'd get spell-wise would probably be, like, um heal four but that I feel like would be something that showed up at like level 50 and I think I think honestly um, full uh, full heal is probably gonna take the place of that yeah well full heal probably is our <laughs> full cu uh, like cure for And now I'm doing about 40 and 60 damage using our, uh... Crossboy? Yeah. Hello there! Uh, thanks for joining, Brady Ford? I think this is where we go for... Oh, hey, look! Brontosaurus! Either I'm going the wrong way. It's been a I long time. It's been a long time since I've watched y'all. Yeah, oh, wow. It has been a while, Brady Ford. Yeah, Brady Ford. I'm trying to remember what. Oh, hey. Inventory. The chunk. And a medicine, too. Yeah, okay. Might as well use these med. Okay. First things first, sort, item, this. You just burn through the medicine tubes out of your pockets? Yeah, just burn them out of my pockets. <laughs> Admittedly, I just set things on fire already. Uh, because I think it's... Okay, I... Th yeah, this is the Triceratops one. Okay, so now there's a new door that was that was locked to the south. Okay, I'm also like rubbing my face up against that, and double checking just to see if there's like a chest somewhere. Do do do. So. 
And we got it at the door, and cutscene time. Oh, look, they had a second T Rex skeleton. Delightful. Something's rumbling. Yep. Oh no, more goo doors. Oh no. So it says that after that cutscene, uh, now you can go back to the um, now you can go back to the secret room uh, in the fossil area. So that 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 uh, earthquake. As it's called here, that was that wasn't much of an earthquake, but still. But you, it should have shaken things loose for you. And apparently, there's some pretty cool stuff to get in there. I mean, like, I really hope it has a super tool because there's a lot of stuff that I want from the rifle. But. Because like I like I having the whole, the whole the whole point of the super tool was that it moves literally everything from A to B. Uh, it can uh, it can either do uh, it will move everything of a certain thing. So like it like the super tool will not destroy it, but in order to uh... oh hey. There's chest here, tool, inventory, uh, medicine three, the M93, which has guns akimbo and three times the attack. So, I'm going to use a medicine three just so I can get it back. Like, I might as well. But I'm trying to figure out what they mean by fossil room. Like, was that the room with like the tri the, the room with all the fossils? Uh, with all the with all the fossils, that was like a uh, first floor all the way back up. Okay. At least I think that's the one I was talking about. God. Oh yeah, it's scorpion time again. I swear, I'm going to actually max out on ammo. Because <laughs> I think it caps I mean, it. that's not a bad thing. Yeah. This looks like the gem room. not the fossil room. Let me go back really quick. I mean, I might suggest finding, like, the Brady Guide thing, just so we... Oh, no, it's the, um, it's second floor, um, south of the, uh, room where we go, where we were able to uh, go up and down the scaffold or the um, fire escape. Fire escape. Yeah. Okay. So let's see here. So. Sorry, that was my bad. Okay, so I was heading in the right direction. I just went the wrong direction because of. Because I said something that was wrong. We can put the blame on me. That's where it belongs. 
I mean, like, at this point, I think we're pretty good. Just one of those situations where it's like... Eh. I just would like to see a game that tries to recreate this type gameplay. But... What type of, like, genre would you want to try and incorporate it in? Because, like... Square did a decent job with, like, the attempt at uh, a horror... Uh... Horror survivor game? Mm-hmm. But... Yeah, I was gonna say, survival horror is a really good fit for it. It's like... Because, sur yeah, like, survival horror, I could maybe see... Uh, maybe science fiction? Okay, so this is the room that you were talking about. And there should now be a secret... Yeah, don't go out on the scaffold. Yeah... And let me read again exactly exactly what it says. After the earthquake, you can check the secret room I've told you about, uh, above. There are weapons and tools in there. And then there's a left broken glass to grab some similar items. Uh, that might have been the M93 and the tool we got, because I got that. So it's possible we got it before I even read that out loud. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so then it says, let's get up the stairs. Okay. Okay, dinos are not doing as much damage as they used to. That's good. Which means that uh, Parasite Eve follows the general rules of most JRPGs is that you can technically overlevel an area. up and you should be walking directly into an FMV and what nope no FMV here hmm maybe even further uh, up maybe even further up Here's... Oh, hey, there's stairs in the room they were talking about. And it's covered in goops. Delightful. Oh, uh, no, the brochures, they're all goopy. There's so much goo everywhere. I feel like that open door is where we're supposed to go. Nope, this is just a weird back area. Yeah, I'm just trying to scan just in case. So, here we go. Do I have any... What sort? Nope, okay. Eve's on the other side. Oh, I should probably swap my good gun. Eve! FMV time! And... Th 
thankfully nothing shows because, well, she's a monster and this is early FMV. She is particularly very visibly pregnant, though. Well, time to do crimes against uh, bio monstrosities. Why, why are you telling the baby to shush? You have not birthed it. It is not in a crib. <laughs> it's a wonder you... No, she was telling you to shush to not disturb the baby. Yeah, but she hasn't birthed it. It's a wonder you made it this far. <laughs> so you're going to congratulate me on this birth? Yeah, congratulate It's like, it's a biological monstrosity. And we're going to celebrate... Yeah, this, 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 this entire game so far has been the baby's gender reveal party. And the way they do that is with nukes. <laughs> what are you planning to do, Eve? Hmm. Perhaps you can help me answer that, Aya. Why do humans give birth? Hmm. Maya. More FMV time. Oh no. Oh no, more meat jello. Uh, meat jello has invaded the sewers. I mean, like, don't rough, uh, rough handle the pregnant woman, but no, no. There's problems here. Are you okay, Aya? Aya? Daniel, Maida, you, you both made it out okay? Yeah, we barely made it, though. Did you see that ugly mama? That, that was everyone from Central Park. What? Then you're saying that Lorraine's part of that thing, too? I'm sorry, Daniel. Uh, yes, it has become apparent as to what medication Melissa had been taking. Uh, what was she on? Uh, she was being administered immunosuppressants. Uh, don't they only administrate that to people who have, like, a very specific type of genetic disorder with their white blood cells? That and people who receive, uh, organ transplants. Because it prevents you, the body, from rejecting the new organ. Yeah. Immunosuppressants? For what? Why? And back into the super fast car. Here's the th uh, story. Melissa had a transplant when she was a kid. If she had a transplant when she was a kid, it probably would have had enough time to replace its cells with her cells. So, wouldn't, uh, wouldn't she necessarily need to reduce her dosage as she got older? Not necessarily outright, like, stop it, but just... Reduce it because, like, the cells have finally been accepted by the body and been replaced. 
I mean, in theory, theory. I, in theory, um, I mean, I'm no surgeon, so I don't know exactly what the timeline would look like on that. But I mean, eventually, yeah, you, it would be theoretical that you could do that. The the flop, the flip of that though is that that's not the sort of thing that people want to necessarily test because if if you're wrong and the body starts rejecting it, depending on what the organ is, especially, um, yeah. that could eventually be that could certainly be lethal. Yeah, I, I I'm just like I'm no medical professional, but I like my little understanding of like how like how your body replaces roughly every component in itself supposedly after it's so many like years. every seven years they say yeah but the the other side of that coin though would be it, let, let's say for example it's a liver because that's something that's fast rub or fast reproducing fast repairing yeah um depending on what you do to it but um would it necessarily be her cells, her DNA, overwriting the DNA of the liver, or would the liver being essentially an autonomous thing that's supported by that, would it continue to grow its cells, and therefore, you know, its cells may still be viewed as foreign to the body? Yeah. So that's the trick there. Anyway, continuing the cutscene. Transplant? What kind of transplant? Uh, y yes, it, it seems she got one of your sister's kidneys. Ugh. Kidneys, of all things. Mm hmm After Maya died in an accident, uh, a kidney transplant, so Melissa got Maya's kidney? Your mother and your sister were donors. I don't think you can actually set up a child as a donor, though. Not without the parent's consent. Anyway. What? Really? I never knew that. Uh, your mother's organs couldn't be transplanted after the accident. So, Maya's kidney was transplanted into the young Eve. Uh, no, I'm, I'm sorry, the young Melissa. Uh, she had kidney failure. Then, Eve's kidney is really Maya's kidney? The, uh, the intern that was present at the operation was, uh, you guessed it, Hans Clamp, our main man. Clamp wanted to become a doctor. The doctors that were present during the operation were all surprised and they all got screamed that the kidney was hot. Then Eve is... It's hard for me to say, but the original was present in Maya. Eve killed the host brain, cultured the kidney, and obtained her own physical body. Then, that's what happened to Melissa. In her case, the immunosuppressant drug served to act as a catalyst. In Japan, Eve targeted a girl who had undergone a transplant. A kidney transplant, to be exact, and she was taking the same in, in immunosuppressant drugs. Uh, this was all so that Eve could have a uterus uh, to plant the fertilized egg. In order to transplant organs, it's necessary for the HLA to type to match. It lives symbiotically with other cells, so it's necessary to take immunosuppressants. Control the immunity and uh, avoid rejection. While being controlled by Eve, Melissa felt her body change. Uh, but she finally got the lead part in the opera. If she had gone to the do uh, doctor, she would have been told to give up the part. So, in order to avoid rejection, she just kept taking the drugs. 
And after taking so much, she was so weak that Eve was able to take over her physical body. And that's how she transformed into mitochondria Eve. So then, Maya is... Maya is the original Eve. In reality, it's Maya's mitochondria. Hmm. Which means being her sister, that explains why Aya's mitochondria are as active as they are. Yeah. I'm guessing. Roger. Commencing operation, sir. Finally, time has come to put a power to the test. Don't be impatient, Lynch. It should have come to it shouldn't have come to this. Yes, sir. For, uh, forgive me, Admiral. Calling all fighter jets. We have just received permission to attack. Commence operation. Head for the Statue of Liberty. As planned, Helicopter Team 1 will prepare for Plan 2. Team 2 will search out, a uh, search, and the rest will do their best to impede further investment. Sure. The Navy's made their move. What? We can't allow this. We'll be repeating what happened yesterday with the Jets. And in come the gunships. And we have a biological barrier and a giant huge ball of goop. Uh, correction. Meat jello. No! Lorraine! Lorraine can't be part of that thing! The huge creature. No, no! Those cells! That must be where Eve's giving birth. Where is she giving birth? Out in the middle of the street? Just... No doctors. Uh, do, do you think of a maternity ward large enough to house all those and that be jello? <laughs> what about LeMay's classes? Or, like, is she doing, like, a pool I'm birth? sorry, did you say LeMay's? I, I'm not sure what the actual term of it is. LeMay's. LeMay's. Lamaze. I mean, what we've been calling, like, the giant, huge, like, mitochondrial mouse. It was lamazing. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, yes, the huge creature will act as a bear to protect the ultimate being. Oh no, it's gonna get that weird, gross, jello skin on it. All of a sudden, from the center of the meat jello, <laughs> and I mean, we already made the reference of Eve being Genova, so it, it only makes sense. And oh, good, it's it's ejecting something to destroy the gunships. I, I don't want to know what that, what it's spitting, shooting, emitting, emitting. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that did look a bit um mm, familiar. Mm. Lorraine. 
The helicopter's coming! Everyone duck! Cover your heads and... It sets down gently. I mean, that's a change for this game. Officer Bray of the NYPD, correct? Ma'am, it's my duty to accompany you to the aircraft carrier. Accompany her to the what? Apparently we're plan B. <laughs> oh god, that's even worse now they say that out loud. <laughs> we're plan I B. This is not the morning after. <laughs> I, 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 oh god. <laughs> we are plan B for this monstrous birth. Welcome everybody. I'm born the day with pride and joy. The Nimitz. Really? That the Nimitz? God, that thing's fucking old. I mean, that's that's the name they pulled out of the hat. I mean, like the Nimitz is the first nuclear-powered aircraft carrier, but dear God, no. I think even when this game was like supposed to be taking place, the Nimitz has been like uh, retired for about. Was it decommissioned? It was decommissioned, I think, in, like, 95. Oh, wow. I'd have to double-check, but I'm pretty sure the Nimitz maybe uh, was decommissioned back in the 90s. I could be wrong about well, the Well, I mean, it is AU, so... <laughs> maybe in this AU, they hadn't decommissioned it yet. Yeah. I'm Williams. I command the uh, commandership. Sorry to have you come on such short notice. Normally, admirals are not usually in charge of aircraft carriers. Admirals are usually guys that in are in charge of entire battle fleets. Not a ship. <laughs> Hashtag nitpicky. A little bit, but, you know. It, it's, the, it's the same logic as, you know, having an admiral com uh, command a single uh, starship fleet. Yeah. Or Starship, uh, Star, Starfleet ship. Starship fleet. <laughs> hey, you better not put Aya in danger here. You! Who do you think you are talking to the Admiral that way? Uh, that's the other part, is that generally the military would be very respectful and be very gentle with her because, well, she would, uh, while she is police, she is technically considered a civilian in the eyes of the military. So they would be playing with kid gloves here. And the captain would be, he would probably get very visibly upset, but he may not have outbursted like that. It's quite all right, Lynch. After all, he is right. Uh, what? What do you mean? You're the only one that can be, uh, can't be ignited by her. I'm asking you to get in our chopper and nuke the creature. So we're doing a gender reveal with a nuke. As predicted. Uh, in you did call it. In New York City, uh, the, how many games have, how many games slash movies have tried nuking New York now? <laughs> Hold on, I can't fly a helicopter. Not to worry, the chopper's been set to auto, she won't have any problem. <laughs> no! I don't like that answer. <laughs> I really don't like that answer. Auto... That's actually the worst possible answer. Auto does not work that way. <laughs> and even if it somehow did, um, <laughs> if something goes wrong, 
given the fact that mitochondria Eve has been shown to have some degree of power over the machinery somehow, slash being able to shoot giant blasts of light or whatever. Um, yeah, mis- there's there's a degree of um, evasive maneuvers that might be useful. Yeah. So, so she just needs to fire from a distance where she can't be ignited? Generally, that's how you would also treat a nuke. You'd be firing outside of the range, which seems to be like 500 yards, whereas the distance that you fire or drop a nuke is roughly the equivalent of two miles. Actually, no. Uh, God. The distance into this game is just really weird. Unfortunately, the weapon needs to be fired at close range. No! What are we firing? A maybe they're rocket? hoping that maybe they're hoping that it penetrates into the meat jello, and that the most of the explosiveness is held by the meat jello. What are they firing? A Davy Crockett? <laughs> For those that don't know, a Davy Crockett was the quotations. Uh, like individual launch system for a nuke. It was also the system that you had to fire it within range of its blast radius. Which is a bad plan. Unless you want to die with your target. (laughs) Basically the kind of joke in the military with the Davy Crockett is you fire it and you fire it from the back of a jeep, and the jeep is running straight out of it. Because it has, like, ugh, range. But, no, it, it, ugh. It, that would still not really work. No. That's why I say it's the joke of... Ugh. And it's but why hey, we... we have drones these days. This is why we have drones these days, and why the Davy Crockett was immediately retired after it was tested. Tested. And we cannot move in that close since we will be ignited. Okay, so obviously the uh, ignition range is getting bigger. Mm hmm. Well. I'll do it. Oh, yeah. No way. You're not going up there. I mean, there's there's shards. There's not even pieces. There's shards of a good plan in there. Yeah. <laughs> All fruit lies in your hand, Shia. Okay. Daniel? That, that thing. That's not Lorraine. Do it for Lorraine, too, Aya. Wait, Aya, please take this. Come off it, man. We don't have time for that right now. Uh, Yes, of of course. Uh, Aya, uh, please be careful up there, okay? Of course, I'll be fine. I think we're going to be in Endgame. I I think we're actually... Yeah, we are. We are in the Endgame now. Uh, which we may actually go over time on this just to complete the game. Just as a heads up. Um... Maybe. Let me think. Half hour, we've got that, that, and then day six, and then all of that. Maya. Um... Maybe? If you were to kill every, if you were to kill everything that lays before you, uh, first try, I would say we're looking at about an hour. Okay. Which would put us half hour over. That's if it gives me a uh, save spot in the middle of that. Which hopefully there will be. Um, I'm I'm thinking there probably will be at the swap to day six. 
Yeah. At least. And, wow, we are moving stupid fast through, uh, New York in helicopters. And, wait, two Empire State buildings? Two, two Chrysler buildings? What? There's the World Trade Center. The creature... <laughs> Culture is within view. Switch to formation two. And that honestly looks like she's actually piloting it. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Is I, I thought there was gonna be a, it was gonna be a no pilot autopilot only situation. And switching formations does require a pilot, and we have like four other. An Aya. Yeah, it, we like, have an Aya. We have an Aya, and we have four other, uh, escorts that they said they Who can't... Who are all getting very close to Ignite range. Yeah, wait, huh? What? What's happening here? From the last battle, we're able to anticipate this attack. We're positioned this way for a reason. Well, what do you mean? Okay, correction. Oh, three, two, one. Zero escorts now, because they're exploding. We will, look for, uh, we will act as your shield so that you will live to attack the creature. Ew? Who thought this plan was good? Lynch. God damn it, Lynch. What? No, I'm not doing this without your... Zero escorts. We're prepared entering forward range. Prepare to attack. Oh, right. Please move away from me now. God, it looks like she has a sneer on her face. <laughs> Cannot abandon our duty. Besides, we're already within range. I always smell like a cooked hot dog. Woo boy. Zero escorts. This is insane. Since Christmas Eve, I put on put a curse on my own body. Why me? Why is this happening to me? I... I don't understand. But I don't care anymore. Because Eve, I'm the one that can destroy you once and for all. Maya, I'll end this and let you rest peacefully. There's the quotations nuke. Yes, attack the head. Oh no, the Statue of Liberty is gooped. Oh no! The meat jello had sexual relationship uh, relations with the Statue of Liberty. I don't think she consented. No. We did it! Well done. That was magnificent. Return to Brayshire. No, it's not over yet. I mean, you shot the head, I, uh... Oh, look! We know those, uh, smacky mitts.
goop hair. Aya, come back now. It's too dangerous to continue. Return to base at once. We will plan. But. Oh, hey, we got to save here. Yes. Are you sure? Will you still save? Yes. Three slots used. I love how I love how it's like it's like suddenly shaming you for saving. <laughs> it's like, are you sure you want to save? I this is probably a point of no return, but yes. That's why I put a new. Oh, it's side. definitely a point of no return. Yes, Aya, please, I need to give you. William's a jackass. Forget it. It's just shined off already. What, what are you trying to give Aya, Maida? Are you trying to give her another, like, charm? <laughs> ah, yes. Gun! And... I don't... I'm honestly not sure how nice to parachute. Oh, hey, cool. I can swap my gun. Uh, let's swap in the G3A3 cuz yeah. It does recommend use your best weapon for this. Uh, which in this case right now is the G3A3 cuz uh Well, the, uh, the PP-220 is less damage, uh, the, uh, M-8000 has a base of 57, we haven't moved everything over to it yet, because we don't have access to my super tools. So. All right, so I'm gonna give you some. I'm gonna start uh, giving you the the readout on Eve. All right. Excuse oh. me. Actually, I should so probably. So she has a lot of attacks. The common theme of these attacks is avoid the everything for the love of God. Why aren't you dodging yet? So basically, do not black mage this fight. <laughs> not even close. Um, it says increase your agility, use your strongest gun, make sure you got a lot of medicine. Which, all those we do have. So I mean, you could, you definitely could increase your agility further. Haste? Well, that too, for sure. But also, I was saying, um, you had a ton, you still, you're still sitting on a ton of bonus points. Yeah. So, uh, so her attacks. Uh, she does, uh, she does, uh, frontal beams, uh, which you just run around to dodge. Um, she shoots needles from her claws, uh, which run very quickly as in the direction of the needles to get out of range. Uh, she has multiple tentacles, worst of which are probably blue reduces your defense, yellow gives you confusion, uh, white is multi-strike, and red is uh, HP 1. Ah, so red is basically the... Uh, Fallen Angel. Fallen yeah. Angel. And... Um, haste helps you avoid them. Basically, just when you see the, the tentacle come out, run away from the tentacle as far as fast as possible. Um, she, those, it, it does mention that those tend to happen as you destroy parts, which this is a multi-part boss. Okay. Um, she also, if you attack from the back, she has a, a, sub, a special attack that happens then. So, uh, that, again, is a lot of beams that are hard to dodge, and you might want to haste. Okay. And cutscene to, uh, uh, voices. So it was you. I don't think she's Prager's anymore. 
that or it, I don't know how I... Mm. Maya. Hmm. That must be the name of my host. Let me guess. Your sister? You have the ability to evolve. Why take the side of a doomed species? Humans aren't doomed. If my mitochondria has the ability to evolve, it'll evolve to get rid of you. Haha. <laughs> Love that sense of humor of yours, girl. Why is it that humans kill? Humans kill other creatures, and they even kill their own kind. We have our reasons. You are sure, uh, you sure are a good enough reason for us to kill. <laughs> All organisms have something called a territory. This territory is guarded from natural enemies. But until now, humans have had no such natural enemy. That is what has allowed them to prosper to this point. You beings must think of your prosperity as a history. But you're wrong. We mitochondria have lived within the human being and have allowed you to prosper. What? What? Haha. <laughs> we, my country, have made you create us, uh, create the perfect environment for us. Humans have come to rely on civilization and have lost touch with innate physical abilities. Can't you see that it's the perfect scenario? What? Then you're saying that Humans were kept alive for mitochondria's sake? Off in the distance, uh, a one lightning goes, We were kept as pets. Hmm. You humans served as transportation vehicles for us. What, what do you mean? Vehicles to transport us to the time the mitochondria would become free again. <laughs> but you see, the vehicle is no longer needed anymore. From now on, the mitochondria will become human beings and will rule this earth. Okay, here we go. Normally I'd make some kind of I for one welcome my mitochondrial overlords joke, but honestly, looking at Eve, nah. Okay, so it should go into needles right now. Ugh, I got hit by the needles real quick. Yeah, you did. Just make sure you're better at dodging the tentacles, or this is gonna get real messy. This is all hurting so far, but it's nothing like what the tentacles are gonna do to us. Oh. Hello. Red tentacle did... Okay, red... Oh god, I got grabbed by white. Ow. I mean, it was only... You only I got you for a single strike, so... Oh, never mind. No, it is not a single strike. Oof. Okay, that is probably the... Okay, I think I destroyed a part? No, we haven't.
also of note, uh, each of the parts, let's see, uh, top is 1900, mid is 1750, and bottom is 1600. And I do have to defeat all three. Yes. Okay, I just got hit by needles. It's not that bad, but... I mean, it's still damage. Come on, I want to see the damage I do. Okay, needles. Oh no, I got hit by wet. Stabby, 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 stabby. So far, so... Okay, okay, there's that weird... I want to say back attack? Oh, I guess you don't actually have to start behind it for it to do it. Oh no. Well, there goes one of my four, uh, medicine fours. There's... Ah, oh god, I got grabbed by the yellow tentacle. There's Confuse! Guess what? Uh, oh no, I'm gonna get confused again. And Confused does the one thing you hate in these types of games. Oh, there's red. Out. Wait, that was red? That was red, which did five, uh, 500 health. Oh, you, you fired off a potion right away. Okay. Yeah. I was wondering why you weren't at one. And we've killed uh, we've killed the head, so now time to take care of the lower extremities. There's white. Gonna use Gene Hill right now. Just <laughs> yeah, I know that clear. Uh... I know it's regen, but man, is that doing its job? 
Oh yeah, no it does. It does its job alright. I'm kind of curious about how long it lasts. Until I run out of... Oh, until you're out of PE. Yeah. So, honestly, heal 3 would have been more potent. Yeah. Blue. That's the worst one. That's defense down, yeah. I'm a little disappointed at the guide, because it does look like that it does the uh, defeat what uh, which parts you defeat changes her uh, attack pattern. Because uh. she hasn't used her head lasers at all and since she defeated the head. Yeah. Oh god, there's red. That's not good. And there goes your revive. Are you down to just mid? Uh, I think I'm just down to med uh, med threes. Oh no, I was saying uh, just the middle part of the body. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm sorry to say, your dodge game is not on point today. No. Oh no, confuse. That's great. That's exactly what we want. Okay, confuse goes away. Yeah, thankfully it doesn't last very long. Not red. Okay, auto potion is saving me. Oh no.
And down. All right. <laughs> I'll give you points for trying. But enough of this nonsense. Eve, play Freebird. Watch and learn what evolution really means. Um... Ow, paralyze. Yeah, she has a paralyzed move. Uh, she has uh, poisoning moves. Detox. Oh, hey. And when she disappears into the sky, keep moving. She's going to do like a ground slam. Uh, you just don't know where. Oh, no. Ow. And that was with you being far away from it. Oh, I didn't know about the defense down. That's fun. You know what? Liberate? Ah, uh, she's got 2200 HP, so you got a good shot with that. 270, a hit. 3, 4, 5, 6. That took her out. I don't... I don't understand. No, you can't be our natural enemy. No. Oh, no. Eve is goopifying. And... Wait a minute, that was not a sign of like, oh no, you won. It was like, haha, I got the last laugh. And she just goopifies. I saw that, that smirk right there. That was definitely a, you think you've won. There must have been some mitochondria that underwent a different type of evolution. Think about it, Eve. Liberation. J6. Yes. Welcome to day six. And do we want to continue or just have next Friday um, be a short stream? I have a feeling you're probably going to want to do next week a short stream. In case I like, uh, spend the next... Say, <laughs> suffice to say that day six is a Bosch rush. Okay, uh, and I'm guessing if I die, I start over from the get-go. I believe so. Okay, now let's let's save that for next week, because quite literally, 
Uh, no. So, okay, yeah, no, only two memory cards for this one. Um, thanks everybody for joining. Uh, yeah, probably next stream is going to be the final stream for Parasite Eve. And trust me, we're going to try and finish that boss rush. Uh, no stream tomorrow, under any circumstances, so... As such, uh, next stream will be Tuesday, which will be continuing Final Fantasy XIV, and finishing out the mm -hmm. story, and maybe attempting the new, uh, Alliance Raid. I think I can do the Alliance Raid? I think it was... Could be wrong. It could be sent to like five ninety five, and that could be fucking out of it. And they're like, no, I can't do it, so I can't get upgraded stuff. But uh, next two day will be Final Fantasy fourteen, uh, followed by Wednesday, which uh, Baron five X slash Eddie is has stated he's going to do high on life. Mm hmm. Which. Uh, I'd rather we were doing, you know, Stranger in uh, of Paradise, but this is it. That's Eddie's stream. I have no control over it. I just, I would like to see Eddie's reaction to Jack Garland. I'm here to chew bubblegum and kill chaos, and chaos stole my bubblegum. <laughs> so. Uh, as such, after that, we'll be, uh, but, as a heads up, we are getting normal FRG podcasts back, and those are mm -hmm. uh, apparently popping up on Wednesdays, so, mm -hmm. uh, if you want to listen to the podcasts, those are on all major platforms, so, uh, Apple, Google, free, have fun. Spoodify, uh, if you liked what you heard, or you've listened to the podcast and want to support us anyway, uh, best way is let other people know about us. Uh, if you want a much more direct method, we have our Patreon. And here for Twitch, we have the subscribe points. The third final one is not a good method, but it's still around, which is our Redbubble storefront. Uh, outside of that, we are on all, ma uh, at least most major social media platforms, so that's Facebook, Instagram, somehow it's still surviving Twitter. Yeah, somehow. Uh, but generally if you want to be alerted to when, like, we have new updates... Uh, Facebook is probably a good thing for the podcasts, if you aren't already subscribed on there. Or Spotify. I think you, I think you can subscribe to podcasts on Spotify. Yeah, you can. Okay. Uh, Twitch, of course, follow here on Twitch. All of our streams are also archived on our YouTube channel. So if you want to see how this started out, it's on YouTube. Sadly, it's not organized in any considerable fashion and you haven't it just, started playlisting them yet i'm trying to get all the keywords so that like when i do playlist them that they're also searchable too because that's it's a I've, work in progress <laughs> it's a work in progress it's the best way i can describe it or as fate has put it it's a work as he put it but as such, uh, thanks for joining, everybody. And we hope to see you next time, whenever that would be. Whether it's Tuesday, Wednesday, or here on Friday. Uh, next Friday, just heads up, since it is probably the final bit of the game, it's probably going to be a very short stream. Maybe an hour at tops, because, well... Final boss rush and the way this game does stuff. Yeah. 
outside of that, uh, thanks for joining, and we hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye, everybody! Bye!